Hi guys, we are currently in Changu, Bali, and we're just about to leave and head to Ubud. It's gonna be about an hour and a half drive, and we're gonna spend three or four days in Ubud that I will be vlogging for you. So this is the start of the vlog. Hi guys, we just arrived in our homestay in Ubud and it's honestly probably the best place we've stayed in Bali so far. We've been here for a bit over a week now and we've been staying in hostels, which is nice obviously because we're on a little backpacking budget, but it's really really good to be um, in a private and just to have a bit more like space to yourself. As you saw, if you saw our other little recap, um, I'll link it down below. Of our first week, we were staying in quite some busy hostels. One of them was like a 22 bed dorm, I think. Then we just came from Changu, where we stayed in two different hostels. They were a bit smaller dorms, which was nice and it's a really good way to meet people. It's just a really beautiful, quiet space, a bit out of the center of Ubud. And I'm just really excited to be here. Um, Changu was really relaxed, we kind of really took our time to just hang out, go to the beach, we did some surfing, yoga um, but I, a lot of people told us that Ubud is going to be a lot more like, um, a bit more like local culture so I'm really excited to go explore the waterfalls and temples around here um, we'll all start that tomorrow though so for now we're just going to get some food I'm pretty hungry, I had a really small breakfast this morning so yeah, I'm really happy with the place. We have a beautiful view over the rice fields and it's so quiet. It's really different because we've been staying in the center of Kuta. We've been staying in close enough to the center of Chengdu. So this is honestly so peaceful and quiet. Um, that's it for now, really. We're gonna get some food and I really wanted to just vlog the next couple of days in Ubud. I first really wanted to vlog every day that we were here, but I think that was a bit... Um, a bit too much <laughs> just because I also want to be sociable and interact with other people and obviously just not be stuck to my camera so much. I've been trying to collect some footage and make a little vlog of our first week and you can find that on my channel. So for now we're just gonna find some food, rent a moped because we'll definitely need that again around here. It's just way easier to get around. It's not really walking distance from any um, food places I think and that's all I think. We'll catch you later. <laughs> mopeds now and we drove down to Ubud Center as we make it. We, um, we're staying a bit of out of out of the center which is really nice and the center is lovely, it's very different than Chengdu, a lot more local, traditional, I'm really enjoying walking around. It feels really calm here, like the perfect place for meditation and yoga and um, we're just having some food now, we're having some local food which is amazing. Uh, we're just waiting for that now and today I don't think there's too much on the the itin itinerary <laughs> on the itinerary um, we're just gonna have some food and it's we kind of want to go to bed a bit early as well just get some rest because tomorrow we want to get up early and we're gonna do loads of stuff monkey forest um, a walk through the rice fields we just want to get up early and get lots of stuff done so that's it for now just waiting for some food and enjoying your boots really calm vibe. Good 
morning guys it is now i think 10 to 10 quarter to 10 and i'm really tired i had a really really bad sleep um nothing to do with our beautiful bed i think um i don't know we were just awake for ages and like really restless the both of us just weren't tired or like i was tired but also really energetic like i couldn't sleep um for some reason i always have this when there is a full moon like i'm not saying anything but no yeah. so yeah full moon couldn't sleep um we wanted to get up at 8 30 to go to the rice field terraces really early but now here we are it's quarter to 10 obviously we're still in the room um i look generally really really tired i feel pretty tired as well it's that like in Chenggu we just kind of hung out went surfing like it's the best place to just chill and we wouldn't really set alarms um been out there as well so we get back a bit later things like that so we kind of want to get in a bit of a, like an early routine now here that we're in ubud so we're gonna keep trying to get up early and just start our day oh don't mind me crying i'm just yawning um we're a bit lucky that it's rain it was apparently raining really bad this morning so we didn't completely waste that like it was just not the best weather anyway um so right now we're just gonna quickly get ready we're gonna visit the temple today as well so i kind of need to pull an outfit together that i can wear at the temples but it's also gonna be comfy walking around a lot in and yeah i'm really excited i should probably get ready and wake myself up a little bit we're gonna get some breakfast and start this day so we're all ready by now the weather is dry now but it's still pretty cloudy it's very different we came from kuta where it was super sunny Changu was like kind of sunny days really sunny beach days some cloudy days and now that we're further up north it's very kind of cloudy tropical weather but it's still very warm a little outfit of the day i'm wearing this white bodysuit from pretty little and these white denim jeans from monkey and just some slippers i bought these slippers here in the market and i've literally been wearing them every day they're the best i love them so much and then in my bag i have two sarongs so when we need to cover up when we go to some temples Talalangalang Rice Field Valley. <laughs> um, we are a bit later than we wanted to be here, which results in a lot, a lot of people um, trying to fight for picture spots. Um, and we're one of them, of course. I don't know why today I thought it was a good day to wear slippers and all white. It's really beautiful though. Just trying not to die. If I slip, I fall in there. Waiting for the couple in front of us to get out of the way so I can take a picture. But um, yeah, I do wish we were here a little bit earlier just because it's so busy. There's a lot of people taking pictures and stopping everywhere, but it's a very, very big place. So I suppose there's still enough space to just go for a peaceful walk. Just had some food and we're now in monkey forest we're at the very beginning of it and i'm gonna try and film as much as possible i am kind of nervous that monkeys are gonna jump and poo on me i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and steal my camera so yeah are you excited jordan <laughs>
guys it is sunday and we have been taking the morning kind of like really slow which is really nice and necessary sometimes we've been out for two weeks now and i think we've literally every day we've been doing so much so our days are always really busy and i think sometimes you kind of forget that when you're at home if you go do things you're never from beginning the morning till evening exploring things constantly and sometimes it can just be a bit tiring um, obviously we're not complaining like I love traveling we're having the best time ever but I sometimes forget that it's okay to just not get up and do stuff all day and then just be so tired in the evening yesterday we walked around and explored monkey forest we walked around the rice field terraces and right now we're all ready to go get some food always oh, a really important start of the day we're both really hungry um, we've been dealing with our hangriness pretty well together which is good I think it's always um, when you're traveling with anyone really it's important to communicate when you're tired and when you need food so we're gonna get some food now and then we're gonna explore the waterfalls today and that's the plan for now we'll really see what we do next I kind of want to see a Balinese traditional dance as well we might do that tonight but yeah we're leaving for Gili tomorrow we need to buy some tickets today we've already booked our place to stay and yeah i'm really excited so we're gonna do exploring as much as we can in ubud here today we might come back to ubud we're not too sure we have a very free schedule so we'll see for now most importantly food and waterfalls so before we go i thought i'd do a quick outfit of the day shot um i forgot to show my earrings last night but i picked these up well actually i saw them but then didn't get them and then jordan got them for me so these beautiful golden little earrings on a market in Chengdu. Just wearing the two necklaces that I always wear. Um, little lotus flower I got for my birthday for my auntie and then a little J. And then I'm wearing this beautiful little dress that I picked up in Chengdu. It was in a vintage store. It has a lovely long good back. It's a pretty short type of dress so I'm just wearing some Levi shorts under it, just a bit more comfortable when we're on the bike. I love it so, so much. Sunrise, sunrise, looks like morning in your eyes, but the clock's at 9.15 for us. Sunrise, sunrise, couldn't tell us if it tried. Cause the afternoon's already come and gone And I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi guys, um, I have no clue what time it is And we're, we just came from the waterfall We've been for a swim, it was lovely We're a little bit cold right now And we're literally the last, were we the last people at the waterfall? <laughs> Yeah, There's only two more people in the waterfall, I think, now. We're the last people. We're gonna head back now. We're both pretty soaking still, um, and we can't really change anywhere. We have one towel. So I guess we'll just dry, dry up over on the bike. It's about maybe 20 minutes back. There's a lot, of, a lot of stairs here. But it was beautiful. That was really nice. A nature swim always makes me happy. Hi guys, so we are back in our Airbnb and changed into some dry clothes after swimming. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna head into town and see if we can see a traditional Balinese dance. Um, I'm actually gonna put this here for a second. So yeah, I have a little new fit going on, some earrings. I'm wearing Jordan's t-shirt, which is the most comfy thing ever. <laughs> And we're gonna see if we can um, still see one of the traditional dances, but it might be a little bit too late for that. So we're just gonna get some dinner and walk around, maybe go to the market. Um, we're gonna leave tomorrow. Um, we were actually trying, we were thinking about changing our mind and maybe staying, but it's gonna be a bit too much of a little hassle. So we have a lot of time for traveling. Like we have about four weeks to a month left maybe even more um, than a month left. So we're just really trying to just, we're gonna just go to Gilly and if we wanna come back, there is so much time to come back to here, which is not the most convenient thing maybe to do, but for now we just let it go because there's definitely a lot more I wanna see in Chengdu, uh, in Ubud, um, that we just didn't really get the time for now, but we already booked our Airbnb in Gilly, so we can't cancel that now anymore unless we wanna lose some money, which we don't. 
So we're just gonna go there and then do the islands and then we can always come back here because we have a lot of time. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Head out for some food and walk through town. We are in a lovely little room, which is a local restaurant. And the owners are so nice. I don't think I've said it in this vlog, but honestly, family people are the nicest people ever. <laughs> um, quickly do a shot of the food so Jordan can attack. <laughs> it looks really good. So, um, a vegetarian mi goreng with peanut sauce. And then we have shared gado gado, which is loads of veggies, also with peanut sauce. And Jordan is having nasi goreng with no egg and some spicy sambal. We are currently walking what we think is the Temple and Rich Walk start. It's like quarter past nine in the morning. We've packed everything up and we're due to check out at 11. So, and then we're heading for Gili, Gili tea. So, woo, I'm just trying not to die while I film this. So yeah, I read about this Rich Walk online somewhere and I really wanted to do it. So I thought it'd be the perfect thing to do before we, <laughs> before we leave. Uh, I think this should be it. find a rich walk it is a two kilometer walk and we've been walking now for a little bit and it's really sunny we just got some water because we forgot that was a bit stupid so we just got some water bottles there and yeah it's a really beautiful sunny morning it's pretty it's a pretty intense walk all right guys so we're checking out oh, ready checking out of our airbnb right now and waiting for our bus to bring us to the boat that's gonna bring us to Gilly. are finally in Giliti. It took us five hours to get from Ubud to here and we were absolutely so tired, really sweaty and warm and uncomfortable. It was insanely busy. We were standing out in the sun waiting for a very long time, which is something you should definitely get used to when you're traveling in Southeast Asia. So we were very prepared, like we were prepared that it was gonna take a while, but by the time we finally got to our Airbnb, we were just so tired, had a shower, refreshed. So right now we're all fresh and up and we're gonna go to the night market and I'm gonna end the vlog for Ubud here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay updated on my travels, make sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!